hey guys welcome back to my channel i just wanted to come on and do a quick video um because i know i have not posted for a, a while but um i wanted to make a quick video about my journey with etsy so far so as you guys know i joined etsy under my business profile back in december 30th 2022 but at that time i was just doing i was just finding patterns and stuff to buy so that i can you know start making an inventory for my business but i didn't actually start posting items for sale until 2023 um and it's around june 2023 because it was after my first couple of farmers markets i was thinking that maybe i should put it online to have an easier access maybe if i wasn't if i didn't have something at the market then maybe they could order through my etsy so it was around june 2023 when i first put up my first plushie on my etsy the first six months which would be from you know june to december the first six months of me having my shop open i have made only two sales a little revenue came out to be about 25 50. so that was pretty low um a lot lower than what i was expecting uh, going into etsy um and then etsy fees it's it was a lot more too so i priced all of my stuff the way i priced at markets somehow i'm not too sure what i'm doing wrong but somehow my shipping that i did ended up being probably a good i would say probably good 87 89 percent of what i actually made per item um so i think by the time i shipped those two orders out i think at most i only got to keep four dollars worth of profit and um it was kind of a learning experience for me. I was happy because it was my first sales, but at the same time, I did not make nearly as much as I thought. And I haven't made nearly as much as I thought in my first six months of doing Etsy. So I decided later on, probably beginning of January, I decided, hey, I am going to not do Etsy anymore. So I opened up a square page, Squarespace. Um, and so considering that it's just March, I can't really say anything about as far as sales or anything. But in January, I went public with my store being open in Squarespace. I posted it to my Facebook. I put up a picture of the ruffle hat that I did and I got a lot of traction to my website. So I think it's just that product alone that brought all that traction in. But even with me putting the ruffle hat on my, web, my Etsy, it's only been on Etsy probably a couple of days now. I have not gained that much traction compared to the traction I had on my Squarespace. So I think I could do better with Squarespace. I just need to take time out and promote more and probably take better pictures. And I don't know if that's that played the part in with my Etsy, but so far the, the fees with Etsy and me not getting as much sales as I thought um, organically through Etsy is what led to me changing my um my websites so i still have etsy up i still want to work in etsy and try to get some sales through etsy because it's a great um it's a great website to sell on i just gotta learn how to get some traction to my page um so i think what i'm gonna do is just keep both websites open it's free to do etsy and that's fine um the only thing i have to worry about is paying monthly on my other website and that's roughly probably i think I think the one I'm doing is like $23 a month. So I'm fine with paying that, um, especially because I get more creative control with my Squarespace shop. And eventually I do want to go and just do straight from Squarespace. I open up Squarespace because I do have some ideas for things that I want to do um, this year. I want to venture off into um, you know, maybe reselling some stuff, uh, crochet related, or making my own um, crochet hooks. I just have ideas that I think would be better off on my own physical uh, storefront through Squarespace. So um, I will put it up on both shops, but right now I feel like Etsy's just not doing what I wanted it to do. Um, I, I just don't know. Again, I am a newbie learning so much, um, trying to learn these websites and what how to best market my, my items. Um, and I'm not 100% sure like, I think pictures are definitely it. So I think, um, like today's a nice day, if I had a bunch of product on hand, I could go and try to take better pictures outside and use those on my Etsy and change, you know, change the photos. Um, I also believe that, you know, 
it could be the wording the tags i have i don't know what's not clicking and why i have not made as much sales but so far that's it all i've made in six months with etsy is 25 dollars, and i just with we when you count the fees and how much it took me to ship i just don't feel like etsy is it right now so i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to do both and ultimately give it a full year it'll be a full year about in uh in june around june july so probably about july i'll come back with another video to update and see how well it's done since then but i think going forward since i am in market prep mode i am probably going to take better pictures and see if maybe that's what i can um do on etsy um i'm also going to take the time out to measure all of my items because if you don't know when you do list an item for sale in etsy it does ask for measurements and um packaging details and stuff like that so I think I'm going to go back and just make sure everything is measured correctly and weighed correctly um, to see if I can get, if that makes a difference in like the price of the shipping and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a lot I have to do, a lot of research I have to do um, going forward to see if I can try to change. Um, well, I got about three months before, three, four months before I say it's been a year since I've had my Etsy shop. So it's fine. I can do it. I can potentially change you know the the narrative and make more sales in the meantime but for right now um I, i'm just not too sure my etsy journey is not going as, as well as i thought it would be um so yeah that's the end of the, that part of this video um if if all you came is to hear about my etsy part that's it my etsy experience is now wrapped up i am going to go into another small vlog um just talking about my week <laughs> and how everything's going as far as me market prepping for April 6th. As you guys know, I'm going to be doing the Cross Tie Jazz and Arts Festival in town, and it's April 6th. It's April 6th, and I have all of the stuff that I have from the previous market. I have not crocheted anything else. Um, so I'm in the middle right now. Um, if you can't see, because I know you can't the way I got this, uh, I'm in the middle of making a crop top. This is the Lily Top by. Um, Passionate Kelsey uh, from Passionate Goods. I love her patterns. They're so easy to follow. Her tutorials are freaking amazing. And the fact that she's not too far from my hometown makes it even better. So, um, yeah. So I'm I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a bunch of these tops. I have some other patterns from Passionate Kelsey that I'm gonna try to do. Um, but yeah, so far this this top and this top as well are the only two things I've crocheted this week. Um, this is a size small, um, it's our size small. So I'm going to make probably, I'm probably going to do one more color in the small, and then I'm going to turn around and probably do, um, a large next, um, a couple large. And so that's pretty much what I want to do today and tomorrow. It's, it's Saturday. Um, oops. Yo, it's Saturday, Jan uh, not January, ooh, March 16th. So I do want to, um spend today and tomorrow making crop tops and hopefully kind of finish up crop tops a little bit um and then this week i want to make some crochet hats um the ruffle hats so they've started like promoting the some of the small businesses that are going to be in town and that's something that i've been dealing with this week um and i don't even know if i should talk about it but i like being transparent because again a lot of y'all sell crochet products and i feel like y'all can give me advice that i'm not used to to having and that would kind of settle and calm my heart and not make me discouraged um so this is kind of like i'm kind of shamed for it for admitting it but i also want to admit it there's another crochet artist in town um well she's not in town but she's going to be at the cross tie jazz and arts festival too um she's from a town about 45 minutes away from me 45 minutes to an hour an hour 15 ish um away from me but she's going to be a vendor at the festival and she sells plushies as well and when they promoted her this week i noticed that she does a lot of uh the same plushies that i do so like every crocheter does the same leggy frog um octopus um patterns generally so i noticed that she she did the octopus pattern that i do um the leggy frogs hers are bigger her, her plushies are coming out a lot bigger than mine but I've noticed her prices are already cheaper than mine for those items. So typically the octopus and the octopus I would do, the octopus and whales I would do for $10 and the lady frogs I would do for 12. Um, her pricing is $8 for a whale and an octopus and 
I'm just, I'm kind of worried that because our prices are cheaper and my stuff is more priced based on how long it takes me because I crochet slow. Um, I feel a little worried that I'm not going to do as well as I thought I was going to do. I am very much so used to being the only plushy um, vendor in the um, any events that I've gone to. So that's kind of been something that's played out to my benefit. Um, so this is going to be the first time where I have somebody else who does plushies as well. And I'm a little nervous. I'm a little worried that I'm not going to do as well. So that's why I'm trying to do other things like um, crop tops and hats. Because I'm worried that my plushies are not going to sell. <coughs> and I'm also worried about getting my feelings hurt. And hearing people mention that her prices are different. Her, her work is freaking amazing. Like, I'm worried about how good I'm going to do. But I'm also amazed at how neat and how crisp her stuff comes out and it inspires me to do better to want to do better and be better but at the same time I've been discouraged like I've been very negative this week and I'm trying to get out of that mindset because there's enough for all of us like there's there's enough for all of us and pretty pretty sure even though her stuff is great she might sell out and people might come to me afterwards or or you know, if someone else crochets plushies, they might come to them. So I don't know if I'm doing wrong by not focusing on plushies and being super worried. I, I don't know. I just don't know. And her pictures, like my table, all of that, I'm still pretty new. Her table setup is amazing. I don't know how I'm supposed to attract customers to my table as well. And then my boyfriend said that another guy... A young man very successful in town um he normally does the far farmers markets in town and he sells lemonade but he was telling me that um the young man said to him that your display is not what brings customers to you it's how you market yourself how you handle and how you how you carry yourself and how you interact with the customers basically so I don't know. Overall, I'm just very worried about how this, this farmer's market is going to, not farmer's market, how this uh, um, festival is going to go. And please interact with me below. Let me know if you think I'm overreacting. Um, am I doing right by having more variety other than just plushies? Or am I possibly stressing my own self out? Um, let me know because I, I want to do good at this market as well. I want to sell more than I did at the last market. I made $40 at the last market. I would love to make more than forty dollars. Seventy-five will put me back at what I spent for my my vending fee there. So if I can make at least seventy-five, then that's great. Um, I just don't know. I, my negative feelings are not just because oh, there's another crochet artist that's going to be there, another plushy artist that's going to be there. It's not that. It's a growth, and the fact that in a year, you know, I feel like I had that one moment where my plushies didn't look so beginner. They kind of look like I've been doing it for a minute. But they, they haven't, my crocheting skills hasn't matured enough. So I still feel like I look like a beginner. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm very, I'm very negative on myself right now. I think that's just a lot going on in my personal life right now. Um, and it's spilling over into my, my business as well. So I don't know. I'm trying my hardest to stay positive and to think of ways to still have variety and to be able to make some sales. So I don't know. I think I'm doing wrong, but I think I'm worried about the wrong things. Like, I think I should still make plushies, and I have a whole list of plushies that I still want to make. Um, but I know that the fact that she does cartoon plushies, like, I saw that she made Bluey. She does Winnie the Pooh. Um, somebody commented on the post and wanted her to do a Jack Skeleton. So I know she's going to have a few of those. It's like So she does a lot of character plushies and I don't um and her stuff is just cheaper than mine they're also bigger than mine so it's kind of frustrating because her plushies are bigger than mine but they're cheaper so I don't I don't know what to do my boyfriend also suggested that maybe I should plushies uh just make use a bigger size hook on some of the patterns to make them bigger but I don't I don't know I still have about two weeks three weeks to do all of this to do all of the, the crop tops and all the plushies and to also do some hats so that's a lot to try to do in such a short time frame and i'm freaking out 
if you've had similar experiences, because I know a lot of you do um, these events as well. I don't want to seem like I am ungrateful or that I'm wanting to be the only person there. I'm wanting to find a way to still make my table and my items that I'm making stand out compared to hers because I don't do character plushies I and her stuff that we have similar is cheaper than mine so I want to know I don't want to lower my prices to try to compete because I feel like my stuff is worth the price that I put it at and people in town have bought my stuff at my price before so I don't I'm always aware that if you if I can get something cheaper I'm gonna go to the cheapest person so my feelings aren't hurt from that. I need to know how to make myself stand out um, without lowering my prices and without trying to compete by doing character plushies because I don't I don't want to venture off into doing stuff where I can potentially fall into copyright claims. And that's why I haven't did stuff like Bluey and Winnie the Pooh. And I wanted to do a couple stitches and I was like, I definitely don't want to play with Disney. How can I stand out? What are some things that I can do with my table to stand out a little bit better? Um, I do have those wooden crates that I've been seeing all over YouTube and at markets. So I have three of those wooden crates. I might get one or two more. If y'all have any advice on how I can um, stand out or just still make sure my table looks appealing and still make sure I get sales or any advice on how to handle not being the only crochet artist, uh, not crochet artist, but plushy artist in town uh, in, at an event. Like what are some things that y'all did to still drive home sales at events like that? Um, so if you have any advice, any comments below, please let me know. Um, again, I'm not ungrateful. I'm not trying to feel ungrateful or anything. I'm not saying I want to be the only crochet artist. I'm just worried about how to still make sales and what are some things that I can do um, through all of this. So if y'all have any advice, um, that'd be great. I appreciate that. Um, I do want to say I had, I've seen a surplus of followers and I've seen a surplus of comments. Um, I tried to respond to everybody, but I, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching my video, for subscribing to my channel, for commenting and telling me just basically some things I could have did to make my table better at the last event that I did. Um, thank you guys so much. Again, if y'all have any advice on how I can handle the situation going this month into my next market, um, please feel free to comment below. Um... Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, please like this video, and please comment below. Um, thank y'all so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I will get a week of crocheting in for you guys, and I can put that up next week. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!